Hello and welcome to the Webster and Global Marketing News Bulletin. I'm Carl O'Connell and here are today's top stories. Thailand has ordered Facebook to delete anti-royalist content. Snapchat has seen high growth in the past 12 months and the South Korean online giants Naver and Kakao look set to enter the device market. Thai authorities have threatened Facebook with legal action if it does not take down all content critical of the country's monarchy. More than 130 examples of such posts have been sent to the social network for them to remove. Facebook has said that it does consider any requests from governments to block content if it's shown to break local law. In Thailand, the monarchy is extremely well respected and many laws exist to stop any public criticism of the family. Prosecutions have been made against people in the past for as little as simply liking a defamatory post or even anything deemed to be unflattering. The number of prosecutions in the country has risen sharply since 2006, around the time that a bizarre video was leaked online of the king and his wife celebrating his poodle's birthday at the time when he was the Prince Regent. Under the country's Article 112 law, anyone who defames, insults or threatens the monarchy will be sentenced to at least 15 years in jail. This has included a woman who replied to a political activist in an online chat with the words I see, which was seen to be defamatory in context. Snapchat has reached 166 million daily users, a 36% increase on the same time in 2016. However, this impressive growth has slowed over the last quarter, with the number only rising 5% in the last three months. According to figures, the most popular age groups for users is the 12 to 17 demographic, with 84% of those in that age group using the app each month. This is closely followed by 78% of those between ages of 18 and 24. However, uptake of the app in international markets is slowing. According to Snap CEO Evan Spiegel, connectivity issues as well as low bandwidth in developing markets are to blame. He added, however, that Facebook copying Snapchat's main feature didn't scare him, saying that just because Yahoo has a search box, it doesn't mean the Google. The South Korean internet giants Naver and Kakao are developing plans to enter the device market. According to reports, both companies will expand from their current online-only statuses and release hardware before the end of 2017. Naver is expected to release an AI-based speaker called Wave in the summer, which will be operated by its Clover virtual assistant, which works similarly to Amazon Alexa. It's also thought to be planning to unveil autonomous car technology. Meanwhile, Kakao will be releasing its own AI speaker set to work in conjunction with its own music, news and voice search services. Baidu has begun implementing a new real name system set to take hold next month. A new Chinese law now makes it illegal for internet companies to allow users to use their services unless they disclose their real name. Similar laws have been passed in the country over the the last few months on various devices like mobile and live streaming sites, but now affect information providers as well. Other companies which are already required to ask for this information include WeChat and Weibo. When registering on Baidu, users must now link their name to a mobile phone number and Chinese ID number in order to use the service they require. And finally, Google Allo is now allowing users to customize emojis to match their own selfies. The chat app is now using neural network generated illustration technology to turn any picture you take of yourself into an emoji image. The algorithms in the technology can examine the image and identify skin tone, facial expression and hairstyle. Google says that within the feature are 563 quadrillion unique combinations of emoji making each user's result one of a kind. The results can be used in chats or as a profile avatar, giving Allo a standout feature against Snapchat and Facebook Messenger as it struggles to find traction in the market. 
And that's all from me today. Thank you for joining us. And be sure to check out our Catch-Up TV service to access our full database of in-depth interviews with global digital marketing professionals, news, how-to videos, and more. See you next time. Thank you.